So what's one marketing practice that you wish business owners would adopt more regularly right now, especially in that SME sphere? Yeah. Um, stop telling the marketers how to do marketing. I think that the, <laughs> I, I, I say that with my tongue firmly in my cheek there, but, um, being told many times by non-marketing experts, how to do my job. And I know there's lots of marketers out there who will share this, uh, pain point. Um, I, th I think everyone has, I don't think everyone, because we're surrounded by marketing, you know, on our smartphones, TVs, radio, buses, outdoor, all that kind of stuff. We've all got an opinion of what marketing is and how we should do it. And, and that's fine. The opinions are great. But I, I think sometimes business owners can be very guilty of being a, a little bit heavy footed uh, on treading on the toes. You, you'd never go and tell the CFO how to build a spreadsheet. You'd never tell the CEO how to run a business. And I, and I think, you know, the reverse needs to be true. Let the marketer be the expert, G give options uh, and make it informed choices, but don't tell them what to do because they'll get a little bit spiky. It's interesting, like, because I see the same challenges on the sales side of things as well as like people bring in chief sales officers or senior sales development people and then do exactly the same, tell them how they're going to do their role and actually, well, no, I've tried and yeah. tested this before. I don't know how it works. I, I can see where the business owners come from because I think if you've got a CMO that's underperforming and they're not delivering and not moving the business forward and if they're just focused on stuff that takes a lot of time, effort and you know, I guess the C, CEO, they want the business to grow and they will get frustrated. So maybe they're sort of gently telling the person that you're not doing a good enough job. That's a different conversation. You know, that's a performance conversation. Um, but I think when it comes to what font or color or the brand should be, it's just leave it alone. No one cares. And let the marketers do their thing. Yeah. And nine times out of 10, they make a bigger thing out of something that just doesn't need to be uh, a, a more a mountain rather than a more hill. Um, so I guess flip that on its head then and, and go to the other yeah. side of the tracks. What's one marketing tactic that you wish business owners would just stop trying to use 